Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. Today we're going to talk about why we use DIN rail and wire duct. Let's start with DIN rail. DIN rail is a mounting system used to secure electrical components to industrial control panels or anywhere you want to install electrical devices. In order to secure electrical components to DIN rail, the component itself has to have a DIN rail mount, which you can see here. Let me demonstrate how we make the connection. The DIN rail will be mounted to a control panel or wherever you might have it mounted. The component will attach to the DIN rail, push down on one side, and it will clip in to the DIN rail. To remove the DIN rail, we take a precision screwdriver, put it in the slot that's located on the mount, lift up, and the component pops off just like that. Now let's look at an industrial control panel that we have here that has many different types of components that are actually mounted to the DIN rail and talk about a few more advantages of using DIN rail to mount our electrical components. As you can see here, we've got several different components that have been mounted to the DIN rail. For example, if this breaker went bad and we wanted to remove that breaker, as we showed before, we could simply remove the breaker and replace it with a different breaker very quickly and easily. We can also move components throughout the panel very quickly and easily. We have spare room in this particular panel, so if we wanted to add electrical components later, we can easily do that by simply mounting them as we've demonstrated before. So to quickly recap DIN rail, it's a very easy way to mount and arrange our electrical components wherever we might want within our control panels or anywhere you have installed electrical devices. Now let's move on to wire duct. As you can see on our industrial control panel, we have wire ducting installed all the way around and throughout the panel. We've got many different wires and conductors running through our wire ducting, but from the outside, the panel is very neat, it's organized, and the wire ducting allows us to do this. Within this panel, we've used a smaller wire duct because we have a smaller control panel and there's not as many wires running through it. Wire ducting does come in many different sizes and colors for various different types of applications as you can see here. For example, I've seen applications where gray wire ducting was used for AC power and white wire ducting was used for DC power. This is just one way we can use wire ducting to better manage our industrial control panels. As always, any of the products seen in today's video can be found on our website. For more information or other educational videos, please go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. And don't forget to like and subscribe.